Hello and welcome to this Desai Solutions Tech Tip. The topic for today is creating a quick file search card using the SolidWorks PDM software. So let's get started. Okay, here we have a SolidWorks PDM vault view. I'm using the professional version, but it could be professional or standard. This tech tip will work for either one. Um, just a little bit of background. So when we refer to our data cards, this is what we're talking about. When I say a file data card, this is what I'm referring to. I select a file on the top half and down below is the data card associated with that file. We spend a lot of time customizing these data cards, putting the fields that mean something to our company in there. These are also something that we can search by. So that leads us into how do we search by this data card? Well, typically what I see or very common what I see is people just don't create a lot of search cards. They just turn on the complete search for everybody and that's great. It has everything you can possibly need. Let's take a look at the complete search card. Um, if we look at this card, I can scroll down to find that file part card, and then I have a card that looks just like it. This is very useful if I want to search for a, a lot of different options or a lot of different potential um, settings or configuration of, of things. So, for example, everything on these tabs in the complete search card is a and sort of operation. So it's everything on this tab and everything on this tab and everything on this tab. So if I wanted to say search for something with a specific material that's checked out by a specific user, this is a great search for that. But most of the time, we just want a quick way to search the data in the cards. So let's take a look at how we can take a file card and convert it over to a search card very quickly. So I'll jump into the PDM admin tool. And again, I'm in a default vault, but you can do this in either vault. And I'll open up that file card. And what I like to do is just do a, you know, do this after you've completed your file cards and they're pretty much the way you want. And quickly, you can just do a file, save as, switch it to a search card. And I always like to give it a name. You know, I always like to add search in there or something so that I designate it differently when I do the pull down. You can change the name however you want. And as soon as you save it as a search card, just save it in the root level of the vault and click save. And there you go. You've got a quick search card that matches your file card. Now, I, I find that it's a little better to add a few other fields in here. So I'm going to just kind of grab everything and just drag it down a bit so that we have some room at the top. And what I like to do just to save time is I'll go file open and I'll open the complete search card because it's got a couple fields that I like to take from there. So I'll control select the fields that I want and you can add more or whatever to it. You can even go to other tabs and maybe put some check boxes in there down at the bottom here for checked out by or you know specific dates or anything in a workflow or whatever but this is a great search card to, because it shows you how everything was set up so um i'll just do a copy then come over to my part card here and our search card here and do a paste and you know of course adjust it accordingly so that everything fits in there and i can squeeze this back in a little bit and I can, you know, fine tune this a little bit better. But for the purpose of this CADcast, I always like to close the search card too. I want to make sure that I don't hit save on it or do any changes to it. I like to leave that as the default and just make cards off of this one and use it as a reference. Now I find depending on what version you're using of PDM, this browse button for some reason doesn't seem to come across all that well. Um, it has some legacy stuff in there. Um, I'm not sure why, but um, you want to switch it to search folder path. That is the same variable right here in search folder path variable. So this way, when I pick the browse and pick a folder, it's writing to this same, you know, sort of search card variable. So they both match up. And that's just the trick on how the browse button actually works here. I also like to make sure that it's only files in the vault. Um, you can set it to always be the root level or something like that as well. But uh, just for our, the purposes of our presentation here, I'm just going to do that. Then what I'll do is I'll come over and hit save to make sure any changes I don't lose here. 
And now, oh, I forgot one thing. What you need to do, I'll just click out in the gray area of the card here. And you can do this afterwards in the admin tool under the settings for the groups or the users or whatever, but you also um, always have to assign permissions for search cards. That's different than the other types of cards. So if I want to give, say, the admin and some of the groups access to it, I need to add permissions to that. Otherwise, they won't see it in their search tool inside their vault view. So I'll go ahead and save that. And if everything looks good, I'll close it. And we can jump back over into our vault. We'll run a search. There's my new search card that I created. And I can hit the browse button and make sure it goes to, you know, it only shows the vault. It, browses and it updates and writes to the right spot and I can do run a search by certain materials um, or whatever's in my data card and I find some results and so this is a quick tip just to create a search card based on that I probably want to clean this search card up a little bit and maybe add some other fields in there from the complete search card but it's a great way to take cards that you've already done for files and just convert them over to search. All right, that concludes our quick tip today on creating a search card from a file card in SolidWorks PDM Professional and Standard. Thanks for attending and hopefully you enjoyed the video.